This is Sal. I'm here with Ben Eater. Hi, Sal. And, and you made this, this module. I did. Called the Fundamental Theorem of Arithmetic. Yes, very exciting, Sal. Very exciting. This, this says that we can essentially get to any, any, any whole number greater than 1 right. by, by taking products of prime numbers. That's right, yeah. That, that any number any can number. be made by, by taking just the right prime numbers. By multiplying a bunch of prime numbers together. Yeah. So and, and in right over here we're essentially going to try to do that. And we're there's and there's one and only one way to get to that number. There's the only one numbers. way. Yeah. Right, right. There's not other yeah. kind of ways there's to There's only one set of prime numbers that will get you to any number. Oh, very, very interesting. Yeah. So let's see. So they say find the prime factorization of forty two. So when they're saying prime factorization, or when you were saying, since you wrote this, I, I guess, I guess you're, you're saying factor this into all the numbers that when I multiply them together I get to forty two. Right. All the prime numbers. Prime numbers. Prime and numbers. so we only give you prime numbers here to work with. You only give the prime numbers two through 13. Right. And it says use arrows to change the exponent on each prime number. So the exponent is how many times you're going to multiply that. That's right. Or and we have many videos on this going into depth on exponents, but you could also one way to visualize it how many times you're going to multiply 1 times this number. Right. Is, yeah, it's is a one way, to, way to think about it. For, for at least this case right over here yeah. we're multiplying 1 times 2 zero times. So you, so just you have one. So it was 1 there. If you multiply it by 2 once, you get a 2 there. Yeah, a 2. And then if you do it by 2 twice, you get 2 times 2 is right. 4. So the prime factorization of 42. So the way I, I think, well, let's, let's use your hints. Okay. Sometimes, I mean, you, you've got these hints. We should think about if, if they're, so let's see. I'd like a hint. Sounds good. I'd like a hint. So let's see what it tells us to do. We can, fact, we can use a factor tree to break 42 into its prime factorization. Which of the prime numbers divides into 42? So well, a good place to start is think of any of those prime numbers and, and think divide, which ones divide into 42. I maybe start at the, the smaller end. That's I, I what mean, I like to do, Two is usually yeah. the easiest one to think yeah, of. This yeah. is an even number. Two is going to divide into Probably it. Probably so. And so let's see if that's what y'all confirm in the hints. Oh, yes, Indeed. right there. Two, two times 21. Goes in, and we could do this on paper if we want, or we should. Sure. sure. But two goes into 42 21 times. That's right. And so I could have just tried two. I got 21 times. Yep. All right. But we're not we're not done yet because twenty one is not a prime number. It's not even listed here. Even right. if we were to keep listing the prime numbers, it's not infinite. prime. It's yeah. not twenty one is not prime. Right. And so and two does not go into twenty one anymore. No. So we're kind of done with the two, with yeah. the twos. So actually, let's see. We're only going to have one two right over there. Right. Let's see. Three does go into twenty one. It does. Three does go into twenty one. And so let's see. So it should be three. So twenty one can be factored into three times seven. That's right. So let's see which if that's are, what your hint confirms. Which are both prime. Which, which are both prime. Yeah. Let's see if that's what the hint confirms. Yes. Three times seven. Three times seven. And then seven is prime and you're done. That's right. So you can say, so you're going to have a, you're going to have this two right over here. You're going to have a three. And then we're going to need a seven. Two times three times seven is 42. 42. When, and we're done. We're done. And we go right over here. Answer, check the, uh, check, click. The, to change your answer. No, no, I don't need to. We already did that. I already did that. So now I just check the answer, and I'm done. Okay. Correct. Next question. And I got two. And we we encourage we using some hints. hints. Yeah. So we we get a, we we don't get the full. You get some we, credit we get, for that. Sure. Feel good about ourselves. Yeah. Okay. Let's do the next one. Let's do the next one. Let's see what shows up. Oh well, we already know the prime factorization of 21. Well, we just did that, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. It's three. We get a three, and we get a seven in there. Oh, there, there we, we go. go. Let's do another one. 18. Okay. So 2 goes into 18. It does. 2 goes into 18. And so, it w and if I'm going to do this in my head, it's it's 2 times 9. nine. But you let me not do it in my head since you have hints. We have hints. You have hints that are essentially doing that. So we can use a factor tree to break 18 to its prime factorization. Two it's times 2 nine. times 9. And 9 is not it is odd, but it is not prime. It's not prime. It's not prime. It's not prime. 2 doesn't go into it, so we're no. done with the 2s. But 3 does. 3 does. Three does. So let's do that. Oh, so we see there three times three, leaving us with three. Three is prime, so we're done factoring. That's right. So this is interesting. We have a two, and then we are multiplying by three twice. Right. So it's going to be two. We have a two, and then we're going to multiply by three twice. Yep. And three times three is nine, and so two times nine is eighteen. And we're that's done. what we're looking for. Yeah. We, we we have not been able to prove the fundamental theorem of arithmetic wrong. That's right. <laughs> we haven't disproved it. Very, very, very good. Well, this is this is very neat.